Today we're travelling down south to a little village called Clandon. Not far from the village is a pond. Now this pond has a difference and a very controversial past. I've been wanting to go here for ages. The legend behind all this... Hey! Sorry, spoilers, we're just going to a lake. Right, I'm on the train now to Clandon. Unfortunately, it's the slow train. It takes about an hour, but it stops at all the stops that I went past on my bike ride. So for the rest of the journey, I'm gonna put my feet up. This really is a slow train. Right, we've made it to Clandon, and apparently, according to my notes, it's that way. Right, I've just made it to a place called Newlands Corner, and as you can see, I was pretty thirsty. I've just climbed up some militant hill, and uh, I'm gonna show you what is at the top. This is Newlands Corner, another place I used to visit as a kid. It was en route to the place we're going today, so I thought we might as well stop by and have a look. It's pretty amazing. I'm not sure what lies that way, but you can see for miles. Let's go a bit further down. Right, even though it's probably not much of a crime-ridden place around here, I don't like to leave my bike up there, so I'm not gonna go too far down, but I think down there is a place called, uh, I can't remember the name of it, Shilton or something, but it's got a church down there. You can just see a church, and I think you can see that from purely down. I may not be right about that. That's Newlands Corner, check it out. So next, we're uh, gonna go to the lake. I don't know if I'm gonna go in it. This is my book, Folklore, Myths and Legends of Britain. And today, we're at the Silent Pool. The legend has it, a girl came down here to bathe and some suspicious character came around on horseback and started patrolling the lake. She was too afraid to get out. It wasn't until the man left that she started screaming to alert her brother who came down. She went under the water. Her brother tried to save her, but they both tragically drowned. So apparently now, the Silent Pool is haunted. Supposedly, the man that was walking around this lake that was trapping this girl in the pool was King John who lived in Sheer. Oh no, we can't get through this way either. We're gonna have to paddle. We're just gonna have to walk in there. I am gonna go in, but I'm gonna paddle my way in. But there's a house up there and I think they might tell me off, but it's all good. I think for the first time ever of using my GoPro, I think it's wise that let's christen it in a haunted lake. What do you reckon to that? Suddenly gets a lot deeper. Oh, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. Oh, it gets deeper. Oh, I should have taken my shirt off then. <laughs> We're gonna go under the water. Oh, it's so cold. You can tell someone died in here because it's so deep. <sighs> 
right, I've been in the lake. It was a lot deeper than I thought it'd be. When I stepped on the base of the lake, I, it was like a chalky sort of uh, base to it and all the chalk was sort of pushing away. So I was sort of sinking, it was like a quicksand. I could see how the woman drowned in there, obviously as well. And I think in the center, it would have been really deep, but I didn't go out there. And also I was holding the GoPro. So I was also like kind of like just one handed at getting back in. I'm not sure where to go now. I might um, head to Guildford and uh, get some food. This is my old school. That there was my classroom. I'm sorry about the audio. Um, supposedly, GoPros have bad audio, but I'm yet to find out. I tested it briefly the other day, and the audio was pish. So if you can hear this, or if you can't hear this, uh, yeah. Right, I don't know if you can see this, but right in the distance over there, you can see the shard really clearly. Over there is London. So the sun is going down and I'm back in my favorite spot. So what better time to... Right, so a lot of you are thinking, why have you changed your channel to build vlogs? I've spoken about this many times before. This may sound a bit strange. The reason I play these games today is to capture the old memories from the past, but I feel playing them too much erases the old memories from the past and makes new ones. That's not what I want. The whole reason of the late night reviews was to try and secure memories I had as a kid. However, when I played the games again, I couldn't stop thinking about the late night reviews. I will come back to this, but I want to get better at editing first. Ideally, I feel I live quite an active life and I want to show some of that. I like to travel, I like to ride my bike, I like to swim in rivers, all sorts of different things I want to show you. And to be honest, at the moment, I'm really enjoying it. I just feel the video game thing, I was wearing myself out. So I think it's healthy to take a break every now and then, and that's what I'm doing. I will come back to this, and I will reference a lot of game-related things in my vlogs. However, doing these gives me a reason to travel around, and I'm having a lot of fun. I don't expect people to stay subscribed to me. I know a lot of people that are not interested in vlogs, so I don't take any offense. But I promise to try and make them as fun as I can. I'm sure this is just a stopgap for now. I'm just having fun. And who knows what I'm gonna be doing in the foreseeable future. Or maybe this all is just a bunch of old bollocks.